Hi everyone, today we'll see how to do a couple of more widgets of our Sony theme. First of all, let me say that if we go to slash usr slash share slash plasma slash desktop theme, we have the default desktop themes that come in your system. And we have the default one, which is Breeze. And if we go to the widgets section, we can see all of the widgets that we should do to our theme. We can use this as a reference in doing ours. As an example, if we pull up tasks.svg that we worked on last week, we can see that we have here all the objects. And then if we pull up tasks.svg in the breeze theme, we can see that we have many more objects. So why is that? Well, what I didn't see last week is that you can customize how the task manager will look depending on the position of the panel, either the panel being on the bottom, on the top, on the left, and on the right, by adding a east, west, north, and south prefixes. I will not do this on camera because it will take too long. However, let me also notice that there is um, this element, which is called hover, which is actually missing in our SVG. That is because I completely forgot about it. So we should add that one. The hover prefix is used when an application is hovered in the task manager, so it's pretty important. Let's copy paste something that we've already done and then change the color. I'll go with, I don't know, purple. Nah, orange. Now we should again go to the object properties and set all the IDs again to be over, dot, top left, and so on. Nice, let's check if this is working by switching to another theme and then back to Sonia. As you can see, when you hover a text manager item, the color goes from red to orange. However, there seem to be a bug in the corners, so let's go back to the SVG and check what I've done wrong. You can see here that I did not write bottom left. However, this one already exists because I accidentally said left here, although it's right. Let's try again. And now it's perfect. So, we are done with tasks.svg. Let's go ahead and work on plasmoidheading.svg. So let's take this one and again copy paste it into a new name, plasmoid heading. Let's open it here. And then also, as a reference, let's open it here. So first of all, let's see how it is done in the breeze theme we can see that we have a header element and a footer element. The header element also has four hint margin around it, whilst the footer hasn't. The header element, which we can see, whoops, if we open up again the breeze theme, we can see them here they have a bottom separator, which is this one, whilst the footer has a top separator, which is this one. So we'll need to do something similar. We need two elements, 
one for the header and one for the footer. So let's look into it. We only need two elements, so let's delete everything else. And the top, the bottom part for the header and the top part from the footer shall not be rounded. So let's actually take them off for now. Now let's do a bottom separator for the header which shall be grey. Be aware when you are adding an element to a group, you need to first of all double click the group and then draw the element, otherwise it will not belong to the bottom left or bottom right group. Also, I will change the lighting to be a bit more on the top. It's not perfect, but I like it. So now to do the footer, I'll just take what I have just done and copy paste it to the right. And then using the flip option, I'll flip it. I will then color it back to a color that I like more, such as purple, this time for real. Very nice, now we need to select all the elements and set the appropriate ID. They will be over instead of normal for this one and then footer for this one. Very nice, now let's pull up the themes and set to Sonia and see if it worked. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. We have our heading up here and the footer down here. We can also see them in the media applet, header and footer. That is perfect. Actually, it's almost perfect, I can see that the borders do seem to be a bit less transparent but that might be not actually a bug that I've done in the SVG but rather the fact that I've done it actually a bit more transparent in the SVG especially on the borders so by stretching them it's more noticeable, so I not consider it a bug for now. Oh, and I almost forgot that we also have to implement the margins. These four margins are actually from the dialog SVG that we can find as an example in transparent. So let's go fetch it. And then we can simply copy these four open up the plasmoid heading and paste them right onto it. So let's now go back to the theme selector, select another one and then back to Sonia.
Yes. A little tip, when you're dealing with margins and stuff like that, it's always a good idea to go rm.kx slash kd star. Be aware not to put any space between kd and star, otherwise you're dead. And then switch to another team and then just for sure delete kick again fine get back to Sonia and then we can see that the kick is updated the look is always the same because in this case it was not a kick issue but still it's always a good thing to know